shad, shiners, bait fish. Pre-spawn is all about the food source. To catch crappie, you need to first find the food and then you need to replicate it with something like this. On day two of our trip to Bull Shoals, Kyle and I are focusing on finding the shad the crappie are feeding along bluff walls and the middle of creek channels. During this early phase of pre-spawn, crappie can be found on main lake points leading into the creek channels or in the middle of the channels themselves. As pre-spawn phase progresses, crappie will start moving to the back of the creek channels to begin spawning. Throughout the pre-spawn phase, crappie will migrate from the mouth of the creeks to the edge of the spawning flats and feed on bait fish throughout their journey. Today's video is sponsored by Crappie Monster. Use promo code DAVIS for 20% off the entire website. Welcome to day two, ladies and gentlemen. We've been running around this morning trying to find these fish in that transition of late winter to that early phase of pre-spawn. We ran into a couple different creek arms today. Last night we actually found some really good fish um, kind of on the points leading into a big creek arm on some deeper timber. So that's kind of what we were searching for today. We found some here. Uh, Kyle found some on this spot. GPS coordinates? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to share them? Negatory. No. Uh, so we're going to try fishing this uh, this deeper section of timber and then we'll probably run to a different creek arm here. Need the net. Oh, that ain't bad. Dang. Is it bass? That's a, that's a, oh, that's a big crappie. Holy smokes. Oh. Yes, sir. You want to get the scale out for that one? Yeah. That's a one, that's a one and a half. Bro. Six? I'm going to say one six. Bang, baby. That's what we're out here for right here. Woo. You got to get some of that, brother. Oftentimes on these bluff walls, you can find a bunch of sunken timber. And that sunken timber attracts a lot of bait fish, and more importantly, that bait fish attracts a lot of crappie. So today we're just casting these small fry across the top of these fallen timber and trying to hook up with a nice bull shoals crappie. Got him. I don't know what he is. It's gotta be a bass. I mean, he's kind of, no, that's a crappie. Good crappie. Good, one. Good crappie. Wow. I mean, he comes smoking for him. Yeah. There you go. I barely bit it though. I just, about the time you barely bit that. It's a good crop though. Time and a quarter. So after catching a few fish off the bluff walls, Kyle and I decided to scan the middle of the creek channels with side imaging for random schools of bait fish and random schools of crappie. There he is. Got one? Yep. Didn't even feel. Oh, that's a crappie. That's a monster. I don't know if it's a crappie, though. Get in, son. Oh, I gotta come on your side. Go ahead. Yeah. You out there? Yep. I'm on. Here, let me just go underneath you. Oh, yeah. That's a crappie, that's, dude. That's a good crappie, too. Heck yeah. We're good. Heck yeah. Get him. Both clip? Yeah, get him in. Hurry. Yes, sir. There we go, brother. Found it. After what, six hours on the water? Yeah. Finally found them. Get right back in here and finally get in the water a little bit. Well, we have been traveling all over Bull Shoals and trying to find something that's somewhat of a pattern, but these fish are just all out in open water right now. We did find a major school of shad. We came back into the original creek that we were here, that we found yesterday, and it seems like there might be some pretty good fish here, like that one. So hopefully we catch a ton more. Here he comes. Just keep reeling it. Keep reeling it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. Wow, he went yes. all the way to the boat. Yes. That's a big crappie, too. Yes. I don't think I'm going to vote for this guy. <laughs> that's a, that's oh a big God. white crappie. Get the net. Keep yeah, get that net. Get him. Yeah, baby! Yeah, boom! Yeah! Stud right there. Oh, 
Oh, he did. Oh, you're good. You're good. Right that. That's sweet. That's that's that. that was sweet. It's a white too. <laughs> yes, sir. Very rare. Bullshit. Sweet. That's when we came after it. Throw him in the box. We we'll weigh him in a second. So our new game plan is to single out just one crappie. It seems like bigger schools are. I don't know if they're scared of the transducer or the trolling motor, but Kyle's been able to put me on a couple. Pretty nice fish. I know some of you who don't uh, don't have live scope are probably wondering like how else would you fish for these? Long lining is probably the only way. It seems like they're very skittish. We're having to cast 30, 40, 50 feet away from the boat to actually get these fish to bite. So hopefully we get a bunch more of those. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, a nice yeah, crappie. Yeah, yeah. That is a oh, nice crappie. Oh gosh, yes. It's a big old white. That's over here, you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Yeah. <laughs> that is an awesome fish. Yeah. Look at that toad, man. That's what we can Eight foot. Well, oh, that's a big target. I think it's just one. There you go. Swim it right there. Drop it right there. Right now, swim it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes, baby. Here he comes. Boom. Yes. That's a crappie. That is a crappie. It is. That's a good crappie. That's another big white. So the reason we're throwing the small fry is because it replicates bait fish, which is exactly what these nomadic crappie are doing in the middle of the creek channels. They're just chasing down these bait fish and feeding on whatever they can catch. For today. Yeah, it is. And those whites are sitting right up there, dude. I can't believe how high they're suspended in the water column with 40, what, 47 degree water temps. Was three or four feet down before it below the surface. Choked it too. And once they start swimming at it, it's like slow, 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 mm -hmm. bam. But if you happen to catch day one of this video series on Bull Shoals Lake, you would have seen snow covered bluffs and extremely cold conditions. On day two, we got much warmer temps. As a result, water temps warmed up and these crappie were actually suspending only three to four feet below the surface and they were very aggressive. You threw anything close to them and got their attention, and they were going to bite. Is that you? I think I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm falling into Yes, that. sir, there he is. Boom, got him. He didn't even wait. Yes, sir. No, he yeah. got it. Yeah, that's a good crappie. <laughs> that is a good crappie. Yeah. Can we get him? Yeah, oh. black crappie fight the best. Boom, son. What I'm talking about. As the day wore on and the sun got low, we decided to keep moving back to the middle of this creek channel. We found more schools of bait fish, and with that, more crappie. And with low light, the bite only got better. Still, still low. Oh my gosh! Good one. Did you see him swap that thing three <laughs> times? Yeah. And another white. Another white crappie. Dude, he said, whoop, and then he went back, and then he did it again, and then he, last time he came up there and put the smoke on him. Well, that's probably going to wrap it up for us tonight. So, uh, unless you got one right here. Probably fishing right Oh, right here. Here we go. Drop it in on him. Can you turn on it? Oh yeah, he did. Slowly. Dang it. Nope. Nope. Yeah, but we've been, uh, we've been chasing one off little singlets out here. It's been working for us, though. So. Yeah, man. We so, made a day out of it. Mm -hmm. This morning was a little rough. We caught like three fish for the first four hours yeah. <laughs> of the morning. Or more, yeah. Yeah, but uh, we finally kind of figured out a pattern. These fish are early pre-spawn. They're staging up in these the middle of the creek channels and further back this way it's big spawning flat area so appreciate me uh, taking me out here yeah we're on yeah, man, finishing up day two we got one more day and that's when we're really going to focus on catching that two pounder in arkansas on yes. bull shoals so yep yeah we was uh kind of worried we wasn't going to get anything out of the day but we've had a heck of an evening back here put a pretty pretty good batch of fish in the boat so mm -hmm. 
Had a good time, for sure. Now we're going to go back and eat some steaks. There you go, yeah. So. That's what we're looking forward to. Appreciate you watching. Use that promo code DAVIS to get 20% off Crappie Monster, the entire website. Uh, if you got any comments or questions about the entire rod reel package that we were using, I'll post it in the comment section below. I'll post in the video description, but you can post the questions or comments in the comment section. Or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. We're going to get out of here and eat some steaks. We'll see you.